at the Hamilton County Justice Center because in this building is where 25 year old Bryant Williams is behind bars after he allegedly was found inside of a Norwood home by the nursing student who lived there. So he came through this door. My heart just dropped like my stomach. My heart just dropped one week after coming face to face with 25 year old Bryant Williams. Xavier nursing student Christina Monahe can still recall hearing footsteps around 1 a.m. last Saturday morning. I heard footsteps right above me. So he was in that room, which is right above mine. Monahe says her and her friend began investigating the sounds. We looked in one of my roommate's rooms. There was like insulation pulled out, like behind her mirror, which connects to my room. Like it was usually bolted, but it was unbolted. He was trying to open it. That's when Monahe's dog, Kobe, began alerting her that something wasn't right. I saw him just like barking into darkness. So Monahe's friend went to see what Kobe was barking at, but that's when Monahe says Williams slammed the bedroom door. Flew the door back open, and then he slammed it again. And then he ran past Will, went down the stairs, and then just went out the front door and started running. It's that confrontation that still lingers in Monahe's mind. I had the hardest time falling asleep for the first couple of days. My roommate has been sleeping with me for the past four days. Now Monahe is left wondering if noises she's heard in the past may have been more than just simple creaks around her home. We had heard sounds in the basement before this, and we all just thought that we were being paranoid. And then once this happened, I was like, I wonder if he had been down there multiple times before. Williams is set to appear back in court on Tuesday. Reporting at the Hamilton County Justice Center, Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now. It was just absolutely 